But you just want everything. Yeah. Hi guys. So welcome to the vlog. I'm still waiting. This is how much. You see this piece right here? From here to here. That's how much mint I need. I just need that much mint. And this order will be ready to go. It's here. It's done. Anyway, we had to run to Walmart. I got some more of this. This has been what I have purchased the past like four or five times. Um, it's the cat. I don't know what she's doing. I really need to um, clean. It's a disaster. Out there, it is a total disaster. Like, it's almost... It like... Mm, it just mm. <laughs> it's because I had to move everything out of Evan's room so it's all out there I just haven't had time to figure out where to put it and so it's still covering the entire bed <clears throat> and then I have like the aprons I was sorting out that is still there um, I did end up sorting them and I put them all in piles. And then piles were on the bed. But now the piles are kind of buried between tool and um, totes. And so anyway, I have to. And I just, I feel like it's just. It's just been. It's busy. But there were so um, like last Friday, I only had five that I needed to get done. And then Sunday, there was only four I needed to get done. So there was a, like a nice little break in there where I didn't have that many to get done. But then all of a sudden, today, yesterday on my list, there was like 21 or something that needed to get done. But I didn't get them, didn't get them all done because I had a headache. And it was turning into a migraine and when you get those you know you know you just you know if you get migraines you know you know when you know um, you get that like just nagging and it gets worse and worse and worse and then you kind of feel like you got to throw up a little bit like your stomach is not right like queasy um, it was to the point where I was queasy so I was like okay um, I have to do something so I never did end up finishing my story last night, which was that I um, took an Excedrin migraine at dinner, uh, even though I had already taken one Tylenol, I think it's 200 milligrams, a Tylenol and a ibuprofen. So I took those probably about 10 a.m. ish, and then about four, four and a half hours later, I took another Tylenol, and then I just went ahead and took another um, ibuprofen because my head, it, I still had it. Um, and then it was around seven o'clock. My son was like, "Are you gonna cook?" And I was like, "Well, I have meatloaf." I was like, but I don't have potatoes. He's like, well, I'm headed to the grocery store right now, Mom. I can get some potatoes. And I'm like, okay. So I went ahead and made the meatloaf, put it in the oven. And I'm just like, I don't feel like working. I'm just going to sit here. So I sat, wait for my husband to get home, and then um, just kind of chilled out with him for a bit. And then I was like, okay. 
he Evan came home with the potatoes I peeled them I put them in the instant pot and then I was like well I'm gonna go take a hot shower because maybe that will hurt help so I ended up taking a really hot shower and it actually did help because after that I started feeling better but that was probably because I had taken the Excedrin migraine um, right when I started making the meatloaf so and then after that then I ate dinner then I was feeling okay but I still if you take Excedrin migraine I don't know about everybody else but when I take it I can feel it like in my body like I don't know I feel differently I can feel the pill if that makes sense like I feel I think it's the aspirin in it because when I was a little girl um, that's all when if we had a headache we took actual you know little white aspirins that's what we had and so whenever I would even the baby aspirins when I would take those it's like I feel it um, it's probably the blood thinner or whatever's in it it's like I feel it running through my body it's really weird I can't describe it but anyway so um, I totally debated on like actually finishing work or working on anything else when up until the point where I took a shower because I was like well I'm just gonna take a shower and then when I get out maybe I'll just lay down and you know but after I got out of the shower I started feeling better so um, I did end up um, finishing a couple ribbon trims so we're putting them on the strap there's How many out here? I've got two size 2T, two, two size 5T, a size 6. That's the one that needs the little bit of mint. And another 5T maybe. And another 4T. And then a rainbow. Um, all of the past all of the pastel ones are done except for they're missing the mint green so I'm just waiting on that mint green ribbon it's like someone just came in upstairs um, so it got delayed it was supposed to be in on the 26th and 24th I don't remember but now I, I have no idea what happened with it it's not Angela's fault, it's, you know, it's UPS, honestly. They need to get their crap together. Let me see. Actually, I think it's in my business. I try to move all my orders and stuff. I have a, a folder called business. So that way everything gets put in there for tax purposes and whatnot. I am not going to do that. It told me to download. Um, expected delivery is now Monday, which totally sucks because this shipping label for that one is already done. Um, I have the shirt done. The plan was is um you detail it just says on its way it was supposed to be delivered on the 24th no the 25th and today is the 26th yeah so it was supposed to be delivered yesterday anyway um the plan was not last night, the night before, I was going to get these uh, ribbon trims done. I made the shirts and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to get these ribbon trims done. Well, then I realized that that one order was like need by the 27th and I'm like, your ship date is the 26th. So I was like, oh, I better get these done. So I had to hurry up, make the shirts and then make those ribbon trims. And since it was already like almost 11 p.m. at night I'm like so I just made those two ribbon trims packaged every those two orders up it was just one order but two ribbon trims um, and got them out the door it was really stressful and I think that's why I felt the migraine 
coming on yesterday is I think I was stressed and I held it all in my shoulders and then when I went to bed I felt like I slept like this and when I got up it was like so anyway um yeah so here I am working today my husband has to pick peaches uh so I have to work on ours that's my plan um, just to see how many I can get done and go from there. Firehouse, you guys. Let me tell let me tell you a story. Um, so I follow all these bands, different bands and stuff on my YouTube account, not on my YouTube, on my Facebook account. Um, and so, you know, I see their posts and whatever. So I follow Firehouse and they posted that they were doing the VIP experience. And I was like, oh, that might be kind of cool for Sterling, you know. I've met them before, um, so, you know. Um, but I was looking at it. They have, like, different packages. Like, you can get the silver package. You can get the gold package. You can get the, um, pre... Was it, was it premium? I don't even remember what it was now. But I'm, like, looking into this, and it was, like... Firehouse VIP Experience Package. It doesn't include your ticket, so you still have to pay a ticket price, which is $35. But if you want to do a silver VIP meet and greet, meet and greet with Firehouse, early entry into the venue where possible, VIP laminate autograph 8x10, autograph set list, Bill Leverty guitar pick. I already got several of those. <laughs> Um, group photo with Firehouse. You must bring your own camera. Um, two personal items autograph. Family and friends four pack option available. Okay, you have that if you wanted to bring, uh, you know, do a four pack. Um, you can upgrade. So that is the silver. And that is $100. Okay. Now. They have the gold. So for the gold VIP, you get everything in the silver, plus you get another admission for another guest to meet and greet. So you can bring a friend and you get a signed guitar, a guitar signed by them. Hi. The platinum is the silver plus the VIP and one guest can come on stage and dedicate a firehouse song, propose a celebration or an anniversary or just join the band on stage for one song. <laughs> and then they have the diamond experience and then it's all the silver plus the guitar plus um, you get to go on stage. So I just think it's kind of funny. I don't think it's funny. It's just like, you know, this is a way for them to, to make extra money. But holy cow, if you want to do this diamond, it's like you got to click this that you understand. Where'd it go? Terms and conditions apply. I agree. Okay. So... By now, $99 for the silver, the VIP four pack is $300, the gold VIP is $329, the platinum VIP is $699, and the diamond is $899. I'm like, holy cow, you guys! Anyway, let's get some work done, and that the um. I was like, this better not be that person. I get people who are like, I need this by this date. And you tell them what to do. And then they wait two days in order. So I had one person who's like, I need this by the 8th. No, the 9th. By September 9th. And so I'm like, well, if you... Now this was yesterday. I'm like, if you put in the notes 
that you need it by the 9th because technically your ship date would be the 8th. They live in Charlotte, which isn't too far. It's one day shipping. So I'm like, if you put in the notes that you need it by the 9th, I can try to get it up to you on the 7th. So that way it ships the 7th, they get it on the 8th, if that makes sense. So and they're like, okay, great. And then never purchased it. So now I'm just waiting for them to purchase it, you know, and then they're going to put in there, I need it on the 9th. And I'll be like, no, honey, that deal was yesterday. This is a different Pam. This is a totally different Pam than yesterday's Pam. That yesterday's Pam, she, I don't even know her anymore. She's gone. She left the building. Anyway, let's get some work done. We're going to finally get Sterling's face marks off the window. You're not scared anymore? Some more windows are out. Okay. You're not scared anymore. I know for sure what we have is something worth fighting for. With bad news knocking at my door, but I like it like that. Hi guys, happy Saturday. So I didn't vlog very much yesterday, but, or the day before. AJ Blank's order. Um, my husband said we're just gonna stay home. Next weekend we are going to see a firehouse, so you know, we're just gonna stay home today. Not keep the roads hot. Just having one of those days. I have a customer complaining, and I'm trying to not let it get to me, but it's getting to me. If that makes sense, and it's I'm at the point where I'm like, if she's bought for me several times before um but her complaint is kind of petty and if like I just I just told her what was up I just told her you know if, if I happen to lose her as a customer because of it it's okay because in the long run the thing that she's complaining about um is because I switched something and so in the long run the switch will probably save me hundreds if not thousands of dollars and the cost and the amount you know her orders or whatever is probably maybe a hundred to a hundred and fifty dollars if that makes sense so you know, do I want to please her, you know, and keep her business coming in? You know what I mean? Or do I want to save this money? Obviously, I want to save this money because it seems like ever since I say maybe March, April. So in March, April, it slowed way down. Obviously, you know, things got gas went up things prices of stuff got higher people are holding on to their money more so business slowed down and um it sort of picked back up but it's not even close to being like what it was last year at this time if that makes sense um back to school was wonderful so back to school now that that's over with it's like i'm like it was like, you know, it was down and then back to school and I started to go up and I'm like, and now it's like, <laughs> so, um, I changed some things and I'm hoping it helps save me money, um, because everything, everything has to factor in 
to your prices. So like I get my shirts from Angela, so I have to factor in the prices of the shirt, not only the price of the shirt itself, but the shipping it costs to get the shirt. So you have to take the price, the combined price of everything and then um, factor in the shipping and then figure out how much each shirt costs after you got all the shipping and everything in. Your fabric, your thread, um, your power, your electricity to run this stuff, your time, um, your heat and bond, your stabilizers, your bobbins, you know, all of that stuff costs money and it's a bill. You know, you have to continue to purchase these items in order to keep your business running. So, um, yeah, where was I going with this? Oh, about, um, I, you know, started doing something a little different and this lady's like complaining, but I can't, I just explained it to her. I was just like, look, <laughs> Um, I'm not making any money, so I had to switch some things, and this is, you know, what I have to do in order to, to basically, you know, stay in business. I have to, um, either that or I can start jacking up my prices, and then when I do that, nobody will buy from me because somebody else can do it cheaper. You know what I mean? Anyway, I don't know if I'm making any sense, but... So I needed some size sixes and some fives for orders. I am going to work on what I can and not worry about this person, <laughs> even though it's like easier said than done. I'm one of them people that I think that like to please, you know what I mean? Like, like a a people pleaser so I feel like I'm not um, not doing basically what they want me to do so I you know feel bad but trying to find something to watch and get to work. Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. So it is Monday. I haven't vlogged the past couple days. I've just been um, kind of going through some stuff and I just I haven't really been in the mood to vlog, I haven't been, but I'm thinking, you know, vlogging actually does kind of help me, helps me clear my brain and my thoughts and, you know. So anyway, um, there's just something going on, um, in my family that's just, it's, it's, it's heartbreaking, so, to say the least. Um, but I have to finish these ribbon trims. My ribbon finally came in to finish these ribbon trims. So that is what I'm doing right now. Um, Mom, that pink broken lipstick? I can't find it. I don't know where your pink broken lipstick. Anyway, I'm going to try to get all these ribbon trims done. I got some shirts. I also received like a three star review on my Etsy and it's just uh, it just makes me I mean they have you know they could leave any feedback that they want to leave you know what I mean um but like it was on an apron and it was about the material so y'all know what I was using the Amazon aprons and you know they they are a lightweight polyester that's what they are I mean I don't know people what people expect really from an apron um, I've used aprons I've used different kinds of aprons I've even got the polyester aprons and I have used them 
but it's not a shirt. It's not like something you are wearing against your skin. You know what I mean? Um, the the aprons. I thought there was one here. There's one in this basket. So they are of this lightweight polyester material. And that's what they are made out of, you know. And I say right in the description, these are lightweight, the very personalized lightweight apron. And then in it it says these are polyester lightweight breathable fabric. And so anyway, they their their review was about um, the fabric is flimsy. They expected for the price for it to be cotton polyester. Um but to be honest with you, I'm not even, I mean, mine, I've seen people do aprons, um, the same aprons, and they are selling them way cheaper than mine. And that is fine, but I'm not going to change my price. I'm not going to go lower. If anything, I'd go higher because I just did the math. So after, I actually, I did it on my Cool. So, twenty-one fifty-five is what I got. What I charged for it. Etsy fees and at the percentage that Etsy takes and all the fees and everything ended up being two dollars and thirty-nine cents. Oops. Okay. That brings me down to nineteen dollars and sixteen cents. That's how much I got. Okay. The shipping was three eighty five, so we're gonna take away three eighty five. Um, it just depends on where's where it's going, and I think that one was really close to me, so it was Georgia. So it was three dollars and eighty five cents to ship it to them, but um, some of them are like four twelve somewhere in there. So we'll just say right around four dollars. I mean, I put in three eighty five, so that's how much that one cost. And that particular apron, um, I purchased, okay, so I was purchasing them in, on Amazon, and you get six aprons, and once you broke them down, I don't remember how much the aprons were a piece, but that particular one that I used on this ladies, um, I actually ended up buying a pack that had the hats with them and those end up being five dollars and seventeen cents each so we're gonna take away five seventeen from that because that's how much the apron costs that particular apron so now I'm down to making ten dollars and fourteen cents okay so I sold it for twenty one thirty five after I bought the apron, paid the fees, and the shipping, I'm making $10.14 off from that apron. But now we have to figure in thread, bobbin, stabilizer, fabric. Um, Mommy, that went my feet wrong. Yeah, the bags I put them in, because um, I use the cellophane, ba cellophane bags, the shipping bag I put it in and the label I used to put the shipping to do the shipping paper, shipping label paper with my ship, my thermal printer. Okay, so you have to figure in those seven additional things. Thread, bobbin, fabric, stabilizer, um, what else did I say? Um, bag, poly mailer. When I say bag, I mean the cell phone bag, um, and the label. You know, that's that's ten dollars and fourteen cents, and take away whatever you feel like your all that stuff is worth. So let's just say we'll say two dollars. That's really really cheap. Um, I'm sure everything probably costs more than two dollars, including electricity and everything else that goes into making it. So I'm at about eight dollars and fourteen cents. So I made in my pocket about eight dollars and fourteen cents off 
this apron. Um, so I just, I can't, when people, you know, everybody's going to complain. It don't matter. They're going to complain about, you know, whatever. Um, I could have charged $5 for it and lost, you know, tons and tons of money and they would probably still complain. Um, hopefully I can get over, I mean, not that I'm going to get over it, but I'm just dealing with family issues. Um, yeah. And hopefully vlogging will help me. Anyway, I'm going to continue working. Okay, you guys. So, this is what we've gotten done. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven ribbon trims. Now I have to put on the bows. Thanks for watching. Hey, tomorrow. Bye, guys.